Hi, I'm Dr. Sangeeta Amladi. I'm a dermatologist and we're going to talk about aging and rejuvenation. But before we begin, let's understand a little bit about the skin. The skin is composed of two main parts, the outer epidermis and the inner dermis. The epidermis, which is the outermost layer, has many cells, but two main components are epidermal cells or keratinocytes and pigment cells or melanocytes. And both these sets of cells give us the clear, even appearance that the skin displays. With age and with the effect of sunlight and ultraviolet radiation, these layers get affected and we develop uneven tone, age spots and roughness of texture. And these are the early signs of aging. Coming to the dermis, there are three main components. The collagen, which gives rise to the firmness of the skin. Elastin, which gives elasticity and allows it to recoil after pinching. And hyaluronic acid, which absorbs moisture and then keeps it looking plump and healthy. Now with age, all of these elements get depleted. And that's why we get thinning of the skin, fine lines, deeper wrinkles, sagging of the skin and volume loss. And all of these are the advanced signs of aging. Can we prevent aging? Well, we can definitely do our bit to slow down age-related changes on the skin. I want to emphasize the importance of a balanced diet, good sleep, adequate exercise and overall keeping a positive frame of mind. When I say balanced diet, I mean incorporate a lot of fluids, 8 to 10 glasses of water and foods which are rich in vitamin C, vitamin A and omega-3 fatty acids into your diet. For example, citrus fruits, carrots, red and yellow peppers, green leafy vegetables, whole grains, nuts, fish, eggs. These are the foods which will keep your skin looking healthy and glowing and slow down the aging. In addition to this, of course, we have to incorporate a good skincare regime. And the most important part of this is using a sunscreen. Because remember, one of the most important causes of aging of the skin is our daily exposure to ultraviolet radiation and sunlight. So use a sunscreen daily and use it as early as possible. Use the right SPF 20 and above and in the correct fashion. And this will go a long way in keeping skin young and healthy. The cleanser we use should be milder and more moisturizing since the skin is drier and rougher. A toner can be avoided completely at this stage. Incorporate a night cream which contains moisturizing elements, vitamin C, retinol, hyaluronic acid and this will also help in hydration and exfoliation and overall smoothness of the skin. In addition, it may be wise to incorporate a monthly ritual in the form of an anti-aging facial or a mild peel or a microdermabrasion and all of these will also add to keeping the skin exfoliated and hydrated. There are a number of curative and corrective procedures which can be used to reverse the signs of aging. A number of lasers such as Q-switch Tendiag and fractional lasers help to brighten, even out the tone and smoothen the aging skin. Procedures such as PRP are getting very popular in recent times. PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma therapy, involves collecting a small sample of blood, separating it into a little light yellow colored fluid which contains a lot of platelets and growth factors. This fluid is injected back into the facial skin. The effect of this is to stimulate collagen and result in firmness, rejuvenation and rehydration. In case we have wrinkles, then there are two different kinds of wrinkles. One is static wrinkles and one is dynamic wrinkles. Dynamic wrinkles are wrinkles which are present 
only in motion that is when we are talking or laughing and they disappear when the face is at rest. For this we use botulinum toxin injections which are injected into the muscle which results in smoothing out these wrinkles. In case of static wrinkles that means wrinkles which are present even at rest there are a number of hyaluronic based products and dermal fillers which can be used to fill, to lift and smoothen out these wrinkles. And in case the signs of aging have advanced to volume loss and sagging, then there are procedures which are very effective for skin tightening. And these are radio frequency skin tightening with different different devices and certain procedures which are injectable procedures called fine thread contouring, which give you a lift to the sagging area. I hope this information was useful to you. But finally, age is all in the mind and you are only as young as you feel inside you. So be bright, be happy, keep smiling and enjoy your life.